Hi, to get a head start on next week's lesson, I want to teach you how to calculate riser height and tread width for a straight flight stair stringer. And first thing we have to do is calculate the total rise. This image in front of you here shows that the rough floor to ceiling height, which is 8 foot 1, the dimension of the header, which is 9 and a quarter for 2 by 10, and the subfloor on the second floor, which is 3 quarter inches in this image, will give you the total riser height. So by adding our 8 foot 1, 9 and a quarter, and 3 quarter, we get a total rise of 8 and 11 inches. So we'll keep track in our notebook up here at total rise, 8 foot, 11 inches. Next we need to convert that 8 foot 11 into inches. So what we'll do is we'll multiply 12, because there's 12 inches in a foot, and Multiply that by 8. That will give us 96 inches in 8 feet plus our 11. It gives us a total of 107 inches. So our total rise mark at 107 inches. Okay, so the next step is to figure out what the height of each of our risers will be. In order to do so, we need to know that the preferred angle for um, stair set is between 30 and 35 degrees. And in order to achieve that angle, we need a riser height of between 7 and 7.5 seven and inches. Using 7 as our constant, we'll divide 107 by 7 inches. Which we'll calculate 15.29 We'll round that to. Now this number we just found, 15.29, is how many stringers we would have if each riser was exactly 7 inches. But because we can't have 15.29 um, risers, we'll round our total number of risers down to 15. And we'll keep track of it here in our uh, notepad. Okay, so with 15 risers, now we need to figure out the actual height of each individual riser. And we know the total riser height is 107 inches divided by 15 risers. So each riser will be 7.133 inches. Next, we'll need to convert 7.133 into a fraction so it is easier to work with. I'm going to try to work this one out by hand so you can see what I'm doing here. So we'll take our 0.133. multiply it by 16. And the reason we use a 16 is because when we're building, um, we measure things down to the 16th of an inch. So 133 times 16. Gives us an 8 down here. 9. 3. That's the one that we carried from the 18. 19. Carry the 1. Times one, six, and seven. Zero down there. Um, one times three is three. And three again, three. And one times one is one. decimal places, we have 2.128. So this 2.128 then, which we're just going to round down to 2, is 2 over 16. So the fraction 1.33, I'm sorry, is equivalent to 2 sixteenths, which we will reduce down to 1 eighth. So going back to our I've already calculated here. Um, 2.138 equals 7 and an eighth, which is the height of each riser. So we'll have 15 risers at 7 and an eighth inch each. Now all that's left to do is calculate the treads. 
By looking at the image here, we see our 15 risers listed by the numbers going up the stairs. And you can tell by looking at it that staircase is going to always have one less tread than it has risers. So without having to run any calculations, we know that there are going to be 14 treads. And for this application, our total run listed at the bottom was calculated um, by the opening of the stairwell uh, based on the second floor. So we're going to have a total run of 12 foot 4 and 3 quarter. You will again need to convert the 12 foot 4 and 3 quarter to inches as we did with the total rise. So our 12 feet multiplied by 12 inches per foot gives us 144 plus 4 and 3 quarter. gives us a total run of 148.75 and we know our treads as listed above are a total of 14 so we'll go ahead and take that 148.75 divided by 14 and we'll get each individual tread at 10.625 and again we'll want to convert that 0.625 into a fraction with a denominator of 16, so we'll multiply it by 16. And by adding it up, we'll get 10 flat. And that 10, again, we put over 16 as the denominator, which reduces down 5 eighths. So each tread we have will be 10 inches, 10 and 5 eighths inches. So we know our total rise, our total run was given to us. In this diagram here at 12 foot 4 and 3 quarter. If we convert it down to inches. Total risers, we have 15 at 7 and 8, and always being one less tread, we had 14 um, at 10 and 5 eighths each. So, bring this knowledge to class next week, and we will uh, start cutting out some stringers.